Okay, so this was a multiple choice um, drop down menu. When solving for a percent proportion, and to get credit, you're going to rewrite it. Now, this is one of those questions that we used the boxes for, right? Okay, so this is the one that this was our number and this was the percent side and it would either give us the part in the whole and we were solving for percent, okay? Top of example. When solving for a percent proportion, we read the word problem to Find the value of the variable. I can use any letter, okay? So that one doesn't matter. And I can't isolate it yet. But I need to know if I'm solving for percent, my variable will go here. If I'm solving for the part, my variable will go there. If I'm solving for the whole, my variable will go there, right? Okay. To do this, we need to isolate the variable. Okay. I don't need to drop the variable. I'm not multiplying it, not to get the value. I'm definitely not going to erase it. Now, if I had, let's say I had three, four, I'll do three eighths, right? Equals 100, right? And I don't know my percent. Well, I would do make it a pretty number. I would do, I would cross multiply, but that's not the next step that we have, right? So I have 6x equals 300, right? Okay. So I need to isolate the variable. How do I do that? Well, to get the variable alone, which was another clue for that isolate. If you knew what your vocabulary was. We use, okay, well, this is multiplication. I need to get this X by itself. We are going to use inverse operations. Okay, six divided by six is one. I'm gonna put that one dotted, okay? One times X
that would be 300 over 6. 1 times anything is going to be that anything. Okay. I believe 50 times 6 is going to get us to 300. Yep, there we go. So to get credit for that one, you're going to write all of this for number 20.